Hey folks, how are you doing today? Instead of an actual episode of Cooking with Sarah, because that would require too much brain power for me today, today I am going to just kind of show you how I... Pig, what the hell are you doing? I'm going to show you how I mob farmed in Agrarian Skies, and I'm just going to go ahead and go creative here. This is the near final evolution of my mob farm, and um, I'm just going to get this guy out of here. Excuse me. Oh, crap. Um, there we go. <laughs> okay. So, this is how I mob farmed. This is this big, huge tower. This big, huge building. It, uh, let's see. The drop is about one, two, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, it's about 16 or 17 blocks down, I think. Anyway, up here... I have a little safety rail that is just to keep mobs from falling onto the walkway there and surprising me because I died that way once. That was not cool. So I'm gonna throw this away. I'm gonna grab me a plank here. We're gonna open it up and just take a look inside. Whoops. There we go. So here is the mob farm. Could it be more efficient? Yes. Uh, and to that end, I will eventually come in and uh, put some uh, Mine Factory Reloaded conveyor belts along here to push mobs into the spikes and into the water. But anyway, as it is now, I guess I could cover that up. I'll do that later. You have water that comes down. It pushes the mobs here onto the spikes. There's also a spike here under the water. Right there, right there, right there, and bar spikes from uh, extra utilities. And then on the corners here. Now what that does is, not only do the regular mobs fall and die on them, like so, and their precious drops get carried down to the water, spiders uh, will also be weeded out. Oops, let me turn off magnet mode. Spiders will also be run into them, and let me see if I can get me a spider egg here. Get me a speeder egg. No, I do not want a heat scar spider. I just want a regular spider. Let's just um, throw one down here. And they kill spiders very nicely too. Now a regular one, one wide channel here. Spiders would get stuck in it. They'd never die. But these spikes here do a very, very lovely job of getting these spiders into a uh, killing range. And that one's just going to glitch through the floor there. We're just going to push him into the spike. There we go. All right. So what I have, got a nice big room, nice platforms for stuff to spawn on, and then four channels that carry water to the center, to this hole here. And this hole, oh, there's somebody wearing armor down there. Usually they don't even make it to the hole. The mobs don't. They usually die and their mobs, their drops are carried down there. And I'll show you the, how that's dealt with in a second. Every once in a while one survives. I'll just put that back. Every once in a while we get one that survives the drop. But at least at that point it's nice and tender. And I'll just go ahead and get out of creative now. There we go. It's nice and tender. Get your sword. Just stab it in the knees. And from here, you have it. Uh, you have a one block opening here. Because if a creeper falls through, his head will be up there. He won't know you're there. So he won't blow up. So just kneecap him. There's a hopper there. The drops fall in. And I'm just going to grab this stack of meat. And then they are pumped into this chest right here. Double chest. You can use fancier chests, you can use barrels, you can make up a sorting system if you want to. I'm not going to bother with that at this time. But, as it is, it is pretty efficient. Like I said, it could be better. But, it does get me a, a stack or so of rotten flesh on a pretty regular basis. I have more bones and arrows than I know what to do with. And that is how you how you mob tower in agrarian skies 
I hope you found this helpful. Let me get out of the rain so you don't have to listen to it. There we go. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, just leave me a like or a comment or subscribe or whatever. And I will come back at some other point. Oh yeah, there's one more, one other thing. Those water streams, I had actually, that was originally an accident. Um, I had moved the water source blocks back into the wall in the hopes that they would uh, do a better job at pushing mobs down the hall back before I put the spikes in. Well, it didn't work out so well, but it looks cool. And also, every once in a while there's one, a mob will get caught in the stream. So it's always fun. You'll lose, you don't get the drops, but it's always fun to kind of plink at them with a bow, knock them out of the stream, watch them fall off into the void. Oh, there goes a skeleton. <laughs> so yeah, now you see why I have the safety rail up there. Oh, hello. Oh, right. I almost forgot. One side effect. You notice it is about four high inside there, three or four high. A side effect is endermen spawn and they get hurt and they usually escape. Uh, I could have made it shorter to keep that from happening, to keep the Endermen from spawning altogether. However, um, as long as you have a pumpkin or are just very careful about avoiding eye contact and have a good sword that can deal at least, um, four, at least four hearts of damage is what you want to go up against an Enderman with. Some armor would also be good. Uh, you can see here where one of them jacked a dirt block. That's going to be your main concern with Endermen and Agrarian Skies is they're going to steal your precious dirt. So, just a little safety tip. Do not put dirt directly over the void. Endermen will steal it. And then they will leave a hole that you will fall in and die. <laughs> Also, be careful about farming your cactus. They will take off with your cactus. And, yeah, there was actually some growing out there. There actually was some cactus up there before I put the spikes in. And Enderman jacked it and did not bring it back. And I lost my cactus and the sand that it was sitting on. <laughs> so, yeah, just uh, put your cactus in a too high room. You'll get less cactus. But, you know, at least Enderman won't be running off with it. Anyway, that is all for this little little splainy thing here. Like I said, if you enjoyed it, feel free to like or comment or share or favorite or whatever it is that you do. And as I think of other things that I can splain, I will do more videos like this. So until then, I will see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.